Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and, Son, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, as it in, the was beginning, in the beginning, is, is now, now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, Christ our, our Passover, Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, the feast <clears> not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ being Christ raised, being raised dead, from the dead will never die again. again. Death, the death no, no longer has dominion over him. him. The, the death, death that he died, he died, he died to sin, sin once for all. all. But, but he the lives, life he lives, life he lives, he lives, he lives to, God. to God. So, so also consider yourself dead to, dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Christ, Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as all in Adam all die, and so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. If there is among you anyone in need, a member of your community, in any of your towns within the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward your needy neighbor. You should rather open your hand, willingly lending enough to meet the need, whatever it may be. Be careful that you do not entertain a mean thought thinking, the seventh year, the year of remission is near, and therefore view your needy neighbor with hostility and give nothing. Your neighbor might cry to the Lord against you, and you would incur guilt. Give liberally and be ungrudging when you do so. For on this account, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in all that you undertake, since there will never cease to be some in need on the earth. I therefore command you, open your hand to the poor and needy neighbor in your land. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. The righteous are always generous in their lending, and their children shall be a blessing. Turn, Turn from, from evil and, and do good, good and, and dwell, dwell in the land, the land forever. forever. For the Lord loves justice. He does not forsake his faithful ones. They shall, they shall be kept, kept safe forever, forever but, the but the offspring of the wicked, wicked shall, be, shall destroyed. be destroyed. The righteous shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, it as it was, was in, the in the beginning, is now, is now and will, and will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. On their return, the apostles told Jesus all they had done. He took them with him and withdrew privately to the city called Bethsaida. When the crowds found out about it, they followed him, and he welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God, and healed those who needed to be cured. The day was drawing to a close, and the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away, so that we may go into the surrounding villages and countryside to lodge and to get provisions, for we are here in a deserted place. But he said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go and buy food for these people. For there were about 5,000 men. And he said to the disciples, Make them sit down in groups of about 50 each. They did so and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. All in all ate and were filled. What was left over was gathered up, 12 baskets of broken pieces. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our teaching today is on Frances Perkins. Frances Perkins was the first woman to serve as a member of the United States cabinet. Born in Boston in 1880 and educated at Mount Holyoke College and Columbia University, Perkins was passionate about the social problems caused by the continuing effects of industrialization and urbanization. 
As a young adult, she discovered the Episcopal Church. She was confirmed at the Church of the Holy Spirit in Lake Forest, Illinois on June 11, 1905, and was a faithful and active Episcopalian for the remainder of her life. After moving to New York, she became an advocate for industrial safety and persistent voice for the reform of what she believed were unjust labor laws. This work got the attention of two of New York's governors, Alfred Smith and Franklin D. Roosevelt, and she served in both of their state administrations. President Roosevelt appointed her to his cabinet as Secretary of Labor, a position she would hold for 12 years. As Secretary of Labor, Perkins had a major role in shaping the New Deal legislation signed into law by President Roosevelt that had a great impact upon the nation as it emerged from the Great Depression of the early 1930s. During her years of public service, Frances Perkins depended on her faith, her life of prayer, and the guidance of her church for the support she needed to assist the United States and its leadership to face the enormous problems of the time. During her time as Secretary of Labor, she would take time away from her duties on a monthly basis and make a retreat with the All Saints Sisters of the Poor in nearby Catonsville, Maryland. Following her public service, she became a professor of industrial and labor relations at Cornell University. She remained active in teaching, social justice advocacy, and in the mission of the Episcopal Church until her death in 1965, Frances Perkins. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let, and let our, our cry, cry come, come to you. you. Let us pray. Loving God, we bless your name for Frances Perkins, who in faithfulness to her baptism envisioned a society in which all might live in health and decency. Help us, following her example and in union with her prayers, to contend tirelessly for justice and protection of all, that we may be faithful followers of Jesus Christ, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor these our vows and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our Hear prayer. prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all nations, that they may live in unity, peace, and concord, and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear prayer. our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, the justices of the Supreme Court and all in authority, 
wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and the poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for a reverence of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be welcomed in our midst and be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness for the first vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's faith. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families and particularly for the neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Noreen Aguera, Karen Yu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, and those responding to natural and human made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, for those with physical or mental disabilities that all may have access to proper health care, irrespective of gender, and that God's loving embrace may be felt by all who suffer. We hold before you especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sudi, Todd, Carol, Stephanie, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Amy, Matt and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Jerry, Robbie, Sally, Kathy, David, MC, John, Arthur, and Tom, Shirley, Cheryl, Anthony, Francisco, Bruce, Arlie, Donna, Christina. 
the people of Ukraine, those suffering as a result of natural and human-made disasters, those injured due to gun violence, and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our God. prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially Teddy Theodorus, those who have perished so far in the war in Ukraine, those who have died because of new natural and human-made disasters, those killed nationwide due to gun violence, and the millions worldwide, including the over 1 million in the U.S. who have died from COVID-19. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the living God remove the suffocating shroud that lies upon our world. May the risen Savior draw the sting of death, bringing all to life in him. May the flowing spirit set us and all creation free and seal our hearts with thee. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 <laughs>